Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. Order still ain't ready, but it's all good though. We about to check and see if we can unassign it. It was only a four dollar order, but this is just to show you utilize the tools and use them to your advantage. So I'm out doing DoorDash. I just got this message right here. Go ahead, give give yourself a second, let it soak in. So you can now unassign orders penalty free. What does this mean for the DoorDash community moving forward in 2023? Well, let's talk about it. Welcome or welcome back. I'm your boy, the Dash and Trader. FDA, fastest dash alive, confirmed. Do not go to the restaurant unless it's FDA approved. Now, I want to say thank you for being here. And to all my new people, if it's your first time watching, look, this is your one-stop shop, man. You don't need to check out nobody else ever in your whole YouTube life. Just watch everything on here and you're going to be good to go. All jokes aside, look, we got some important news to talk about. DoorDash is now allowing dashers to unassign orders penalty free. Now, this has been rolled out in a few select market territory. We've been seeing some stuff, but I'm starting to see this more broadly across the board. And this is very, very, very significant. And there's three reasons why. And you want to make sure that you stick around for all three reasons, because look, the final reason is probably the most important one. And look, if you miss any of these, you're probably not going to be able to maximize with DoorDash here in 2023. So stay tuned. Now, look, reason number one, this is so important. A lot of times as a dasher, you know, it's going to be things that's out of your control. You know, the order might be behind because the, the merchant may be bagged up. You know, the customer may give you the wrong address. It's things that's out of your control as a DoorDash driver. And one of the biggest complaints I hear from dashers all around the country is, you know, being penalized for unassigning orders. There's going to be... Uh, across multiple delivery apps, DoorDash is pretty much the only one who is penalizing dashers from having a completion rate that wasn't above 80%. And you may say 80%, well, hey, that's like a B minus, right? And I get it. But like I said, there's a lot of variables when it comes to food delivery. So this is very important. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's going to be some situations where you take some orders that may not be so desirable. And now you have the option to unassign them if they take up too much of your time and you can do that penalty free. So moving forward, I would suggest that you look out for this in your market. Number two, this right here is a game changer when it comes to stacked orders, okay? Because huh, follow me, look, give me a comment down below if you've ever had a stacked order, right? And it was the best order on paper, right? The, the merchant pickup was good, the distance was good, the payout was good, right? You get to that first spot, they got their order ready to go. Boom, you in and out. You hit the next spot, it's right across the street. Boom, they bagged up. 10 minute wait, 15 minute wait, 20 minute wait. And what if you're in a situation where you already at 80% on your uh, completion rate? You can't unassign. You know what I'm saying? Well now, with this new feature, you, more, you now have more freedom than ever in your DoorDash account when it comes to your ratings and specifically your completion rate. Now, you can actually not have to worry when you have those good orders like that and you have to unassign one. You don't have to worry because nine times out of 10, you're probably gonna get another order anyways and you can keep them wheels rolling. But look, for number three, the third and final reason why this is so important, now it's gonna be easier than ever before to raise your acceptance rate, why? Because let's just say you sit at 100 right now on completion, right? You'd have completed your last 100 deliveries. Well, now you have some breathing room between 80 and 100% to go ahead and unassign some orders. And you can accept the order, unassign it, and that's going to raise your acceptance rate while lowering your completion rate. Now, I do want to warn you, you do not want to get close to 80%. I wouldn't even play around with it, to be honest with you. I would give yourself 10 percentage points. So if you're sitting at 100, you know what I'm saying? Knock it down to 90%. Accept the order, unassign it. If you can get away with doing 10 of them back to back, I would do it. Because that's going to be your best bet at increasing that acceptance rate quickly. And see, in the past, this wasn't something you wanted to play around with. But now, with you being able to unassign penalty free, it's going to be orders that you can accept now that probably wouldn't have not fit your parameters in the past. But now you can get there and wait five, seven minutes. And it's going to give you an option. Hey, how long you been waiting? Hey, do you know how long it's going to be? Now, DoorDash, how am I supposed to know how long it's going to be? If I've been here this long, obviously it's going to be a while, right? But here's the thing, though. After they ask you that now, it's going to give you a message prompt saying, look, you now can unassign this order penalty-free. I'm telling you, look, 
make sure you take advantage of this because look, me, myself, personally, I didn't already raise my acceptance rate over 50 and then I was able to get it up to 65 by utilizing this new tool. And I'm currently sitting at an 87% on my AR. I dropped it all the way down to 82. Now look, I'm the fastest dash alive, so I wasn't worried about it. Don't, you know, keep your account safe, but definitely take advantage of this because now we got that wiggle room to really get that acceptance rate up. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you didn't know, DoorDash ain't sending nobody no orders if you're below 50%. So if you're below 50% and you don't got no large order program, you don't got no piece of bag program, you might as well hang it up, okay? Unless you're in a super, super good oversaturated, not oversaturated, but it's a lot of orders in your market. You're in a super, super good market, just go ahead and hang it up because look, you ain't finna get nothing. So use this information, use this new tool that DoorDash has given us to increase your acceptance rate for the time being because look, DoorDash can flip that switch at any time and this can be gone. So make sure you out there maximize and take advantage of this and do it as soon as Getting possible. Back in the McDonald's, let's see if they got this order ready now. I had enough time to record this whole video and they, they probably still ain't got it ready. But guess what? If it ain't, I'm gonna unassign it and I'm gonna keep it moving. 10 minutes to make a happy meal and a drink. 10 minutes. So look, if you made it this far in the video, you the real MVP. I need you to do me one favor. I need you to hit that like button Hit that subscribe button. And also, look, check out this next video right here. <laughs> Come on now, I'm FDA. Stop playing with me. I'm the fastest dasher, editor, YouTuber, all of that. Come on, man. I can't be messed with out here, man. Click that next video and hook me up, man. I'm trying to get this YouTube money, man. Come on now.